Yeah! Full health! Yeah! Oh my god. Um, ow, ow. <laughs> okay. Well, the asteroids can hurt you. Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Gaming. I'm your host, Gaming J. And today we're hopping into a Konami classic on the NES, Bucky O'Hare. Now, I actually don't know much about this game. I did not play it back in the day, but apparently it's based on a comic character who was created in the late 70s. Good old Bucky O'Hare here. You saw a little preview there. The uh, computer was showing us a level, I guess. It actually was really short. It didn't go very long. Um, now, this game has been described as a mixture of Contra, uh, because you got sort of the platforming and gunning, you have a bit of Mega Man with stage selection, and you have a bit of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with uh, different characters being selected as you play and rescue different characters. So, I'm excited to give this one a shot. I say let's go ahead and do this, and isn't it always fun to hop in to a classic game for a classic system that you never played back in the day? The day. It's like getting a new Nintendo game after all these years. So, Bucky and his crew uh, fight to save the Aniverse. I think that's the animal universe from the Toad Menace. Oh my. One day, a transport bringing Bucky's crew to their righteous... To the Righteous was attacked. I guess the Righteous is the name of their uh, starship. Kind of looks like a space submarine, actually. The Toads kidnapped Bucky's crew. Oh no! Blinky is a captive on the green planet. Deadeye is sent to the red planet. Jenny is held at the blue planet. Wily is held on the yellow planet. <laughs> Look at this guy. Air Marshal, ha ha ha, Bucky O'Hare, your friends are mine, you are next. I feel like the 90s, when I was a kid, I, I think Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles started this trend, but there was like a weird obsession with seeing like animals be people. You know, there's Ninja Turtles, I mean, look at Bucky O'Hare here. I know Battletoads is another classic NES game with like humanoid toad creatures, and for some reason we loved it. Very Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles-y though. Uh, Bucky escaped the Toad Armada by a hair's whisker. Now he must save his loyal crew from enslavement by the terrible Toads. Oh my. All right, so here's the Mega Man aspect of this. This is kind of cool, actually. You get to select your level. There's a Toad ship just sort of floating around in the background. I guess that maybe that'll be the final boss battle after we've rescued everyone. Um, I was going to just say let's go in order, but that's kind of boring. Let's start with the Red Planet. Why not? Red Planet, Act 1. Alright, so here's Bucky. He can shoot. He can charge his shot. Oh, wait. He charges up and jumps. Okay, so that makes no sense. <laughs> I was gonna say he has, like, a Mega Man blaster that he can charge up, but nope. He, uh, charges up for Mega Jumps. Oh, a toad! Alright. So in the backstory of Bucky O'Hare, um, toads are evil. And all the other animals, uh, are good, I guess. And apparently, most mammals are part of a sort of collective society that I guess is, you know, good. Um, but the toads, the toads are basically run... Oh, God! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> the toads are actually organized by a computer. There's apparently some kind of, like, giant computer system that organizes toad society. So, I had no idea. I didn't know that toads, as a species, dabbled in uh, computer science. Apparently they do, and if they had the chance, don't kid yourself, Billy, if a, if a toad ever got the chance, it would pledge allegiance to a computer and everything it stands for. Toads are very technocratic, as it turns out. So, I thought that was kind of cool when I was reading about the backstory for this game, that, like, the toads, you know, listen to, like, some kind of omnipotent computer system. That, that's very futuristic and, and futurist of them, just generally, you know, like... Um, it's their own personal space god, some kind of, like, giant sentient robot computer thing. Um, anyway, oh god, that, that toad fired back. I was gonna say, so far... Oh, those are spikes that kill you? <laughs> okay. Let's say so far things look pretty basic. Um, some basic platforming here, uh, which is precisely why I decided to play a Nintendo game today. I definitely have different moods. 
when I'm going through, uh, when I'm, when, when I'm getting ready to pick a Saturday, uh, game. And one of my moods, uh, a semi-frequent mood is to play just sort of like a classic platformer. And I don't know about you guys, boom! But, uh, nothing, nothing more predictably has solid platformers, I find, than, uh, the NES. I just find that, like, it's, the NES's genre was platformer, you know, like like every other game on the on the Nintendo is a platformer of some kind. Uh, I think I've talked about this in other videos, maybe I have, and I can't fully remember everything I've ever talked to you guys about, but uh, definitely like uh, the NES is all about platformers, and then, uh oh, did I screw myself? Well, maybe we can just jump up here. Wee! Nope. Um, I got an idea if I go back over this way. No, I just really screwed myself. Oh, God! <laughs> Okay. Do we have infinite lives? Because otherwise, this is going to be a short video today. Yeah, let's get back to where we were. Collecting those green coins is, like, going to be the end of me. Um, anyway, NES is platformers. Sega is also platformers, but I also kind of think of Sega as the sports system. You know, Sega Genesis and stuff. Um, PC tends to be, in my mind, like, strategy and first-person shooter games. Those are the kinds of games I, I tend to recall most on PC, like DOS era PC. Although, of course, it's like, you know, there was every kind of game on a PC. Um, although, it is the case that the PC really didn't do platformers very much. There are, like, some classic platformers, like Commander Keen and stuff, but I will, I do think that, uh, I don't know the, sort of the, the technical reasons for this, but, oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> Uh, okay, game over. All right, let's give this another shot. Um, I don't know the technical reasons for this, but I know that it seems like DOS-era computers were not very good at handling platformers, whereas, like, the NES could handle them, you know, like, super easily. Like, platformers on the NES are, like, a joke. They're just, like, so easy, it's nothing. Damn, how do you get past this part? Um, I think I have an idea, actually. I'm gonna try and wait out the lava. We fall down here, yeah. See that little spot right above where I died? That's where you gotta, like, go to survive. Hopefully we have infinite continues. If not, today might be a good day to crack out the game genie. Game genie, there we go, all right. Now can we just wait for this? No, we can't, all right. Oh, just instant death, wait. How are you supposed to do this part? Okay, go down, fall. Okay, I can wait it out here, but now what? I'm kinda screwed. Does this ever go away? Can we kill this stuff? Okay, does select or start do anything? No. Oh my god, you just die right away. Okay, so you can't wait there. What is the point of that then? Okay, I'm going as fast as I can here, guys. Oh god, oh no, I should have gone to the right and just, oh, I see, you go to the right. Can you gun it down there? This, this is a, a an odd place to get stuck. We're on, like, the first level. Well, I guess we're not technically... Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, we missed a coin. Oh, well, we can't stop! We're gonna die. Jeez. This is the kind of level that the first time you ever play it, it's like it takes you forever to pass. But then once you get good at this game, it's like, you know, you can do this level, like, one shot with your eyes closed. Like, you'll you'll end up just memorizing it as a kid, like, where to go. And then you'll, like, wow your friends. You'll dazzle your friends, and you'll get it every single time. Boom. Oh, I should have gone for that green coin. No. I think I slowed myself down trying to get to the green coin. <sighs> this reminds me of not the Turbo Tunnel level in Battletoads, but there's another level right near the end of the game where you're, be you're on... You're, what are you riding? It's like a circle with handlebars, is the best description of it. Um, okay, we got the coin. <laughs> Killed me. And there's something chasing you, and you just have to go as fast as you can. And you're not allowed to stop for any reason. That is what this level is kind of like. Oh, crap. Down, down. I'm like trying to memorize when to go left and when to go right, but it's, it's harder than it looks, guys. Crap, screw that up. Okay, here we go, here we go. We got it. We got it. Oh god, we got it! Go, 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 go! Go, Bucky! Oh no! I went the wrong way. Crap. 
This is like a memory game at this point. Infinite continues though, I like it. So we're just gonna continue to- I hope you wanted to see a little green rabbit die today. Because you're gonna see a lot of that here today. Ah crap, we didn't have the coin again. I don't know if it's worth getting those coins, I don't know what they do. But I'm like oddly drawn to capturing them, you know? I'm like, oh, maybe I could just grab it real quick, would it really do that much damage? It's not like I'm playing all that well, you know? There we go. Oh! Oh, crap! Okay, when I see the loose brick up there, I have to go down then to the left. Man, this is a long part, too. Like... Oh, crap, we missed the coin! <laughs> I knew the coin was there, I was trying to land on it. We missed it. Okay, go all the way down. Then we go left. Then we go right, then we go left. Oh! Okay, whatever, we missed one green coin. How, how bad could it be? Oh! What? <laughs> Try to jump down there to get the coin. We're on Act Four. All right, we got we got that coin. Look at these awesome fire effects. This definitely feels like a Konami game. Like, like let's know even when I pause the game here. That is like the the classic Konami pause sound effect. That was the same pause sound effect used in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles too. Or not Turtles 2, Turtles 1, uh, for the NES, which Konami also did. Under their Ultra label, because Nintendo had a limit on how many games publishers could produce every quarter, every year, or whatever, so... Uh, big publishers would just get around that by starting other publishing houses. So Ultra was a subset of Konami. Now you know. Oh man, this is a harder game than I thought, but I mean, I guess for only having four levels, what was I ex really expecting? You can tell how hard a game's gonna be on Nintendo by how many levels it has. Games with like 50 levels? That's gonna be easy. Games with four levels? <laughs> Buckle up. Oh god! The fire pushed me out there. I was trying to land on the platform. I mean, obviously I was trying to land on the platform. If I wasn't, then that's a... Uh, that's a bad sign for you guys. It means I'm really bad at video games. Oh god. Fireball. Oh my! Okay, so when you get hit... You seem to lose control of your, like, left-right momentum. Because, again, I was trying to, like, land on that little platform there. Oh my god. Alright, whatever. You know what's funny? I, uh... I've died, like, a bunch of times in this game. I haven't died once from losing my health. I keep dying from, like, one-hit deaths. Like, if you're gonna give me a health bar, at least make it mean something. Don't put pits and one-hit kills everywhere. That sucks. Oh, also, listen to the sound effect when Bucky shoots his gun. Hold on. I'm pretty sure that's also from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Wow, Konami was just full-on recycling all their sound assets. They were like, why bro- why fix what ain't broken? Boom! Next level. Alright, now toads are spinning around- oh my god! They're toad balling. They're toad balling. Oh, you bastard. Get out of here! Oh, we're gonna go, to, go down here. Interesting. Die! Can't leave those guys alive. Oh my god, what is happening? I'm gonna- I'm gonna puke! <laughs> oh god! So disoriented. Oh no! Okay, I'm trapped here for a bit. This is actually kind of a cool idea for a level. I will admit, this is kind of neat. Okay. Okay. Then we get up here. Okay, I'm not gonna go for it. I'll die. Get out of here, toad ball! Okay. Huh, this is kind of cool, actually. I like this part. Never seen a level like this quite before. Kind of fun, though. Oh, God. Okay, get up here. Wonder if I could jump to the right. Oh, God. Okay, I took a hit. You know what? I'm not even going to worry about my life because, again, I've, I haven't died from lack of health in this game yet. I don't know if it's possible. Oh, there's life, though. I will take that. Okay. Up we go. Up and up and up we climb. Oh, nice try, Toad Boy. He just walked away. He was like, well, they only gave me one bullet, so I'm done for the day. Anyone want to go take off early and grab a beer? All right, Bucky. All right, more. Wow, these are pretty long levels. What? Oh, I have to do my charge jump there, don't I? Game over. Act six. I thought there'd be like four acts. Maybe it's going to be like, uh, you know, level 4, act 23! 40 minutes from now, we're still going to be playing the same level. 
Jump! Oh, get that. Oh god! <laughs> I, I tried to jump, but I was uh, too late. The ball literally slipped out from underneath him. Boom. Okay, so you don't have to charge your power to the max in order to uh, use your super jump. Boom. Oh, that, that worked. Boom. Oh, you, you dick. Okay, I can't, you can't shoot that guy. Oh, and uh, I see. Okay, so, well, can I just do that? All right, there we go. Jump. Oh, we got a one up. Nice. That kind of cancels out my previous death. Huh. I had no idea these toads knew how to shoot diagonally. That's actually pretty sophisticated of them. Or a video game bad guy. Damn it, these one-hit kills! Unbelievable. The one-hit... Damn it. The one-hit kills to the spikes are very Mega Man-y. Okay, so there, I have zero lives, whatever. Let's just die, continue, and then I'll have three lives again. Not that lives seem to be playing an integral part of this game. It's sort of like, why even bother to have lives if you can just do infinite continues, you know? I'm just sort of questioning why they would do that. Boom. Okay, let's take some damage to kill this guy. There's an extra life waiting for us. Boom. Take more damage to kill that guy, because why not kill this guy? I mean, these sweet green coins. I'm going to call these Bucky coins. Bucky love. Oh. Bucky loves his Bucky coin. Okay, oh god. I almost screwed that up. Um, I'm just gonna... Oh, what? what is this? What was that? Oh my god. What am I riding on? Oh, oh god. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, this thing does come back. Okay, I'll wait for the next orange ball. Oh god! Damn it. That... That's actually tricky. Oh! <laughs> okay, don't do that. If you're ever playing this game, don't do not do what I just did. Okay. Oh, God! Wow, how did I get by that the first time? This part is, like, surprisingly tricky. Boom! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Give me that coin! No? Not gonna do it? All right, let's ride this giant green ball. Uh, okay. No... I time this just right. And jump. Riding the green ball now. All right, I hope I don't need that orange ball because we it is gone, man. It is gone. Oh, look, we got life. Oh, we got coins. I'm not going to try and get that one. Know your limits. Oh, God, and we're dead. Oh, I could have jumped down. There was ground there. Okay, oh, God, I almost did it again. Okay. Get that. Oh, we, we totally missed that. Damn it. Alright. Well, this part isn't too bad. Watch this level... Crap. Watch this level be like nothing like what any of the other levels are like. Like all the other levels are like straight platformer and I just happen to pick like the hardest level to start on. Get this thing. Boom! Oh, we got it. Okay, so if you hold down charging longer, you'll jump higher. That's a good tip. Okay, let the green ball go. Then you go for it. And let's just go ahead and ride this thing. Why not? I don't want to deal with the uh, orange balls. Get this. Duck. Get this. That one go. Let that one go. And we did it. All right. That that part isn't too bad. Once you figure it out. Oh, we're at the boss. Or oh, we are. Oh, the green ball was the boss the whole time. Hey, there's a toad in there. Oh, he's shooting lasers at us. You dick. Is this all he does? This is, like, shockingly easy. Okay, no, he's gonna do more. Alright, what are you- what are you gonna do, man? Roll at me- OH, HE JUST KILLED ME! <laughs> I didn't take him seriously. Okay, you gotta do a power jump there, obviously, to survive. Okay, so is this ball alive? Why does it have eyeballs? Okay, we're getting him. We're getting them. Like, the, the patterns of, of stuff you have to avoid here are actually not that difficult. Boom! Nice try, buddy. Oh my god, he almost killed me. Thank god that power jump powers quickly. 
All right. Time for round two, punk. You ready? Oh, he throws a faster ball now. There we go. It is like really hard to like just fire at just the right time to get him. Okay, powering up my jump. Get my jump going. Boom! You can't hit what you can't catch. Boom! Nice try. I'm gonna power up one extra one just in case. In case the boss pattern changes. Nope! <laughs> predictable. Simple and predictable. Okay. So this sort of seems like just an inevitable victory. Like, I think he's hit us once. All right, we power up our jump. See ya. I like Bucky's outfit. He's got like purple spandex and orange cape. He's very like Buck Rogersy. He's a very colorful and interesting character if you see him on like the box art of this game. Boom. Wow. Honestly, the hardest part of this level was that fire waterfall part where like the beams of fire were chasing us down um, the crater, the cavern, or wherever we were running. Did I? Here's a toad blaster which I just lifted from a toad arsenal. All right. It was no problem zapping around in this toad rocket pack. Zoomed right over the toad walls. Password 6NKY3. Alright. Boom, we did it. The red planet. Oh, and we've we glassed the planet. After we rescued our dude, we bombarded it from high orbit with such intense ferocity that we literally stopped the geothermal activity within the red planet, and now it is just a barren, desolate wasteland where nothing could survive. That's how that's how gaming Jay goes on a hostage rescue mission, guys. By, by utterly obliterating every biodome in which they dared hold one of my friends. Anyway, let's go to the green planet. It's uh, the first planet in the list, so hopefully it's easy. Now, how do we switch people? Oh, yeah! Look at this. We can be this guy now. Okay, what does his power do? Boom. I don't understand his power. Hmm. He said he had a jetpack. And this guy can just jump really high. Okay, hold on. Time out. Let's go check the manual because I don't want to miss anything important. Okay, Bucky O'Hare, how to play. Uh, one hair raising adventure. How to avoid total disaster. Hippity hoppity hints. Power ups. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, maybe the green coins are like power ups. Maybe I want to get them from my other characters because Bucky is pretty powered. Yeah, the power up meter. Interesting. Power up life stores one ups around throughout the mission. This is this is a poor scan. Look how hard this is to read. In fact, actually, you guys might not even be able to read this uh, once I compile the video because usually it pixelates things a little bit. I won't linger in here in case it's too hard for you guys to read. These are power ups. You can increase the power of a character by grabbing power ups to engage character special ability. To hold down the B button and release. Ready to fire. The longer you hold the B button, the more the power up effect. A okay, Bucky jumps higher. Jeremy Crystal becomes more powerful. Dead Eye can cling to cling to walls longer. Blinky to fly longer. Willie's power to increase. Fire power to increase. Okay. So yeah, you guys definitely probably can't even read that. That's fine. Here are the different characters. What? There's just a little kid. There's just like a random <laughs> eight-year-old boy. Eight-year-old boy, man. He's one of the level bosses. <laughs> you have to beat him up before his mom calls him home. Triborg. Interesting. Um, these old manuals are great. Uh, treat your Konami gamepad carefully. All right. Well, basically the tip was, I think I might be able to cling the walls, but collect power-ups for different characters. That is actually a good tip. All right, so let's uh, give our new character here a chance to shine. I do like the fact that he shoots in multiple directions. Um, but this looks like a jump for Bucky. And then we'll keep switching to our new guy to collect, uh, collect power-ups. Right, this level seems a little more... Oh, God, ow normal-ish. Oh, th those things look like the things from Contra. Can you? Oh, you totally can. I was gonna say, can you jump down? 
Oh, but you share a life bar. That actually kind of sucks. If you have multiple different characters, you should have different life bars. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, let's do a mega jump here. Boom. Oh, God. Almost just killed my- I almost killed myself accidentally because I didn't jump high enough. Kill this thing. Oh, hello. Kill this thing, too. All right. Your power-ups. I don't know if his power meter is getting bigger or not. It's hard to tell. Jump. It is kind of interesting to be able to... Uh, oh, look at our life bar. Damn. We are max. We are maxed out. Hey, you know in the previous level when I kept dying and you guys were like, Oh, Jay, pull it together. Secretly, I was grinding to get a larger life bar and a larger power meter. So what looked like in what looked like gaming incompetence was actually genius strategy on my on my part because now my character is overpowered for these later missions. We're gonna breeze through the remaining levels. Mark my words and boom! I like Bucky at this part because he jumps super high and this is vertical scrolling. So oh god, oh god, kill him! Kill him! That guy's gun is way better, though. He, is, he sort of has the, the spread shot from Contra permanently. Which is an awesome ability. Oh, look, he just... Oh, wow. And, and the evil caterpillar, too. We won't let any of those survive. Oh, God, oh, God. Oh, my God! Okay, I was about to say... I was literally about to comment, I wonder if when you fall down, you die, because in video games, falling below the edge of the screen usually results in death, but we did not, which is good. Okay, so I wonder what this actually does. Oh, God! Okay, those branches are not secure. We learned that the hard way. I still don't understand what his power-up is. But, okay, this part you just gotta go. Oh, God. Oh, well, we got power. He clearly powered up, so that's, that's good, I guess. Die. All right. Go, go. I'm kind of tempted to go on that log, but honestly, it'll probably be the end of me. Oh, God, go, go. Oh, God, I don't know what this is. I don't know what any of this stuff is. Okay. <laughs> I should have waited there for a second. Kind of panicked. Okay, go, go. I'm going on this log. Oh. Wait, what? Okay. You just get to ride this, huh? All that does. Oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Didn't expect it to fall off the screen like that. Okay, we only have one Bucky life left. Let's just, uh... Go quickly... Through... This... Oh, thank God, this- I- I'm- I don't want to tempt fate! God damn it! I wasn't sure if that branch was gonna fall or not. You just- not- not all the branches seem to fall. Like, does this one fall? No. This one? Yes. This one? Yes. This one? No. Okay, so not all these branches are gonna break. That is a terrible mechanic to have, like, some branches which, uh, fall apart, but, like, it's not clear to the player <laughs> which is which. Like, does this break? No. Okay. Oh my god. Get this one up. This one's gonna break, isn't it? Nope. Didn't. Oh, son of a bitch! Oh man, the platforming in this is brutal. I guess I could try being Bucky for this part, because he is pretty solid at platforming, but I kind of want to be this new guy. I just died, didn't I? Yes. Alright. Let's, uh, keep, keep giving this one the old college try. We're gonna get through this, guys. We're gonna get through this. I kind of feel like a game like this, with Infinite Continues, it's literally just a matter of time before we beat the entire game. But maybe it gets, like, so insanely hard that, like, it's just unrealistic. Oh, God. Okay, you really gotta work on the timing there. Maybe I'll switch to Bucky for that part. Because he does have the Mega Jump. That's probably a good use of Bucky. It's funny how just like a handful of little jumps can be like really hard in a video game. And then you get really good at it if you own the game and then like you dazzle all your friends. They're like, oh, give it to Jay. He can get past the, uh, you know, the tree part. 
Boom! Man, if we did not- even with that super jump, it did not look like a sure thing. Um, do we want to try for this one-up? I say let's do it. Boom! Oh, skills! Nothing but skills! That's the other guy shot. Right, I don't know what's happening here. We're going white water rafting, I guess. Oh! Wait, you die one touch in the water? One touch in the water and you're dead. Oh, we're back here? Are you kidding me? Wow, these like long sections are actually quite challenging. Like, I can't mess up for like the next higher level. Sucks. Got this. Got this, got this. So this is easy. Oh, I could have gone there too. Okay, now I'm going for Bucky. I was kind of thinking like, maybe I could just jump with the dude, but no. That's like such a precarious jump. Uh, I'm gonna keep Bucky for a bit. Now nah, I'm gonna go to this guy. If we collect power-ups, we definitely want it to go to the, uh, this guy, not to Bucky. Jump, jump. Oh god, oh god. Go. Okay, is that a thing? Okay, there's like a one-up down there. I have no idea how to get it. Probably die trying to get it. Oh, you go on that. Alright. Because I'm a sucker for a challenge. This and jump! Cool. Alright. Well, easy, I guess. <laughs> or something like that. Oh my god, what's gonna happen here? This is just like... Have fun with this! Okay. Oh man, th this is gonna make me puke. Why do they have all these weird effects in these levels? Huh. It's actually not too hard to avoid the uh, bad things, but the power-ups just sort of zing by. Like, you don't have a second to catch them. Oh my god, and I got hit multiple times there. Oh look! Here's a level from the opening. The toads are engaged in light orbital bombardment of the planet's surface here. Oh god. Okay, get out of here. I like how their ships are toads. Although, then it makes me wonder about where those lasers are coming out, and uh, I don't want to overthink this, but this <laughs> is kind of gross, actually. Now that I think about it, this level's disgusting. Are we at the boss already? Holy crap! What the hell? Why he just hit us with a boulder? Okay. How do we damage this guy? Ow. Oh, we, we, you hit him in the legs after he, uh, okay. Yeah, hold on, Bucky needs to fight this guy. Go, 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 All right. We have so much life that, like, I don't even know if, like, dodging this guy even matters. Like, he's just hitting me left and right. <laughs> but let me tell you, when it's not a one-hit kill, like, what difference does it make? Die, 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 die. Like, yeah, we're, we're at half life, but, like, he's probably almost dead, frankly. Like, I'll avoid- I'll avoid hits if I need- if I can. Look, look at that! <laughs> so he has one attack that insta-kills you, and then all his other attacks, even if you make no effort to dodge them, he's so feeble, he can't actually take you out. <laughs> uh, I don't want to say bad boss design, but... Floppy boss design? Thank you, Captain! I've rescued a toad weapon that will smash walls of ice and stone. It also acts as a rocket pack, Captain O'Hare, allowing you to fly. Oh, cool. Wait, so how do I- how do I actually use these items? Um, I guess let's go- let's mix it up again. We'll do Yellow Planet. And then we'll kind of end from there, but hold on. Oh god, oh god, hold on, I want to check out my items! Game! Give me a second! Jeez! Okay. Um, hey, look at this guy. Oh, he flies. Oh. So Bucky never gets any other powers, eh? He, all he can do is, is this. Yeah, that's... What? Bucky can shoot up? Oh my god. Okay, that is news to me. Good thing I figured that out. This guy can't. And neither can this guy. Oh, this guy kind of shoots down at an angle. Or wait, his things, like, bounce on the ground? I don't know, his- his shooting pattern is erratic and confusing. But he flies. We gotta power this thing up. Um, alright, let's play as Bucky for a bit. 
And uh, we'll power up our little uh, flying teddy bear dude. Oh my god. Finally, the enemies actually uh, can injure you. It's not just a one-hit kill. <laughs> ow, ow. Ow, okay. Kinda gotta get into a groove with this thing. Here we go, ow. Here we go. Man, we're at, we're at half life gone. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Die, die, die. There we go. Alright, they only take like four hits, but still. Jump! Okay, we gotta get better at killing these things. Cause we can't- we can't be- we can't be dying to just like six of these in a row. Jeez. Alright, we got it. You kinda gotta get into its inner circle. At like just the right time. God damn it. We might actually finally die to loss of life. Oh no. No, we won't. Oh, maybe we will. Don't speak too soon, Jay. Okay, can I get it with this guy? Get it, little body, buddy! Okay, no, I can't. All right, just get it, Bucky. Wow, so even if there's so many bad guys that, like, you, you literally just take damage for, like, the whole level, it's still not enough to kill you. That is insane. Yeah. It's like, damage really doesn't matter in this game. Take as much damage as you want. Have fun with it. Okay, we're gonna go back for that power-up thingy over here. I wanna give it to the robot. Kill these things. And you can't actually shoot things off the top of the screen with the robots. It's actually really hard to kill things at the top. And this robot kinda sucks. Um, but there's a one up up there. All right, Bucky, time to shine. And we are like taking so much damage, it's crazy. Bucky can just straight up jump up there. Almost. Come on, Bucky! Do it! Oh man. Might be able to actually. Here we go. Do it, Bucky! No. Can't. Alright, we're gonna die trying to get that one up. You know what? Let's just move on. <laughs> Forget about killing these enemies, these weak, pathetic enemies. How do you get up there? Jump! Oh, we did it! Okay, little robot dude. Oh, yeah! Okay, check this out. Oh, look at him fly! Okay, he still doesn't fly very far. We will get that little robot powered up that so far we'll be able to, like, fly over the whole level, man. Mark my words. Like... Ugh. What was that? I hope that wasn't power. But I did not give it to the uh, little robot. I... Uh, ooh, life. Sure, why not? Yeah, full health. Yeah! Oh my god. Um, ow, ow. <laughs> okay. Well, the asteroids can hurt you. They have to give you an extra life right there because... Otherwise, like... It is hard to figure out what's going on in this level. Oh my god. Oh, thank god that was short. We are riding around on the outside of spaceships, man. Oh, I'm supposed to go up. I get it. I was like, well, that's a short level. The screen ends right over here. Now you're supposed to go up. Ow. Okay, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, little rabbit. Oh, that guy shot me. Unfair. Uncool, man. Just trying to climb higher into space by riding on the backs of your spaceships. Why you gotta be a dick about it? Oh, son of a bitch. No, I'm, fa I'm falling further down. The opposite of my goal is happening. Oh, God. Okay, here's like a safe one. This guy is like just not moving. He ran out of fuel. And I'm just really not worried about taking any damage at all. There we go. Oh my God, I gotta ride these things? Are you kidding? Oh my god, there's life there. Hmm. Oh my god, I can't believe that didn't kill me. Okay, I got lucky there. Man, you really need the flying guy to have full power on this level. Um, go! I totally missed that. That was way too slow. Wow, I have like six lives. It's actually crazy. I think I had seven right before I died. I mean, I would have had... I obviously had seven before I died. 
pretty crazy, actually. Can't believe I'm actually doing better at this game. Jay's actually doing better at a game the longer he plays it? What? First time for everything, guys. Here we go. Whoa, whoa! Watch out of here, Toad Boy! Really, Bucky is the best overall character, I find. The other characters so far haven't proven themselves to be that useful, in my eyes. Um, being able, like, he shoots fast, which is good. The other guy, he, he shoots too slow. And yeah, he does have the diagonal, but whatever. And then this little thing. Like, it's cool that it flies, but it does not fly nearly long enough to make it viable. I'd rather be able to jump high. Um, shite. I knew, I, as soon as I started to jump, it's one of those things where, like, as you're in the air, you're like, oh, this is definitely not going to work. Your mind is doing the calculations, realizing you're not going to make it. You are not going to make this jump. But it is too late to back out, so you kind of have to own it and just pretend like, it, you know, you just did a little, mu a little mistake. <sighs> oh, man. I thought I did it again. And then the thought that I messed it up again made me mess it up again. So let's just ride this first one way off. Ride this second one way off. Pull this toad here. Damn it. Crap, I fell off the front of that one. All right, here we go. Is there a pattern to these asteroids, I wonder? Because it seems like these first two I can kind of get predictably. Then this one. Oh my god. Oh, maybe this is the perfect time for the robot. Hmm. Okay, let's try it. I guess I'm kind of getting impatient, and I'm like, what's the fastest way I can get through this level? Um, we'll ride this guy. I didn't have the balls to change to the robot. Um, this guy. Boom. This guy. Oh, I should have just kept going. Chickened out. Let's go for it. Yes! This one's nice and easy. Gonna wait for an asteroid going to the upper left. Oh yeah. Up on this guy. Really, you just have to sort of keep your eye out for the asteroids that you need. The toads that are trying to kill you again, irrelevant. Oh my God, what's happening? <laughs> Is this supposed to go this fast? Am I supposed to be doing anything? I, I gotta feel like it's not supposed to be going this fast. All right. Oh God, I I see what I was supposed to do there. You go left, then you go right, then you go left. All right. Seriously, is it supposed to go this fast? I feel like this is an emulation glitch. But if it gets us through the level, I don't know. Maybe they were like, let's just design a level where you just go fast as fuck. And they're like, what happens on the level? They're like, nothing. You you kind of you're on a rail. You get to the end. You get on another one. Same thing, re repeat, third one. And the level just kind of ends. That's, not, that's the concept for this level. Go freaking fast, man. As fast as you can, man. As fast as the NES will, will go. People used to play this level on the NES. Their NESs would like smoke and sizzle. Because frankly, this is too much blast processing for the NES to handle. It could not handle this. Oh wait, I was supposed to do something there? Oh, there's another platform there. At the bottom. Game is this level is just called Guess Where to Jump. Guess where to jump so you don't insta die. We gave you a life bar that did not matter in Bucky O'Hare. It's like the false sense of security. Yeah, look how fast I'm going. I'm firing bullets ahead of me. Those bullets are going as fast as me and faster. Think about that. Think about that. Now these ones I'm firing behind me are going my speed, except slower. Minus their speed, you know. Canceling it out. It's a bullet that's just hovering in air. Yeah, look how slow they are when my thing comes to a stop. My bullets are going really slow. Here they're going to go super fast, though. Is there, like, I keep passing a toad. Is he controlling things? Do I have to kill him? Oh, God. Do I, am I supposed to be killing a toad? No, I'm not. Okay. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Red spikes to the face. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. Oh, I have to do it again. Oh my god. Like, see, there's toads that we're passing in the sky. 
Are we like legit supposed to do anything to those guys? Because I fear like if I jump, I'm just dead. Like I'm just, uh, I'm jumping on these things and holding on for dear life. We're going to Mach 3 here. Can't really jump up and kill enemies. Sorry, Konami. You might have, you might have aimed too high for the player base on this one. We're not superhuman. We're just kids, man. Kids in the 80s trying to play NES games. Have mercy, Konami. Have mercy. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, like, look at that toad up there. Look at that toad up there! What are they doing? Maybe they're just spectating. Like, wow, look how fast he's going. Pretty nuts. I'd never ride those things. Okay, duck. Thank you. Learn that the hard way. Am I gonna have to jump now? Oh god! Oh, uh, my brain didn't pro- I was like, what am I looking at? My brain didn't process what I was looking at fast enough. Oh, we gotta do this all over again. I'm gonna try and kill one of these toads. Probably gonna just mean I end up playing this level over and over, so I probably shouldn't do it, but I'm really tempted to try and kill a toad. Gonna shoot right- oh, you know what I should do is be this guy. I totally can sh kill toads. Because these things go diagonally, so it's no risk to me. Alright, toads. No... No tourists on this ride. If you're just gonna sit there and watch me, you're gonna risk getting killed. Oh, I think I might have hit him. I heard like a little sound effect there. Where are you, toads? Oh, yeah. Okay, you, you can't hit anything in this. Let's just go back to Bucky. Main character, hopefully not die. Okay, down. I'm gonna have to jump here. And jump. Duck. Oh, God. Stay ducked. Stay ducked. I'm gonna have to jump, aren't I? Gonna be spikes on the bottom. Yep. <sighs> you bastards. <sighs> oh, oh, God. Oh, you sons of bitches. Oh, no, no. Oh, God. Let me live. Oh, you let me live. You let me live. Oh, God. Oh. That was, that is like the most stressful endpoint to a level ever. If I can have a heart attack with this end of level, why not? Okay, I don't know what I'm- Oh, okay, he- Every boss has like a one-hit kill that you just really gotta watch out for. The rest, who cares? Damage me as much as you want. I don't care, I'm Bucky O'Hare! Oh, crap. I see. I wasn't paying enough attention. I didn't realize I busted his- his radar dish off. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, you can shoot the missiles. That's cool. Okay. Now we stay ducked. Now we shoot him some more. Oh god, that was probably a one-hit kill that I just accidentally avoided! Damn it. At least they start you right off at the boss. Although now we have, like, no life bar. Okay, so now- now finally the boss actually gets a little tricky. I'm just gonna stay ducked here. Ow, ow. Okay, then he shoots, and then he's gonna, like, run at us. Okay, I'm gonna shoot again, probably. Run at us again. I'm just gonna stay down here, I think. Oh god, I'm taking a lot of damage, though. Come on. Die. Oh my god, I'm totally gonna die from lack of health. First time for everything! Wow, he got us. Okay, so I can't just stand here. We've established that, I need a better strategy. What can I do? Oh god. No. No. Okay, duck. Oh god. Forgot about that attack. <laughs> so I guess the way this works is if you get to the boss with like a big health meter, then the boss is easy. But if you screw up and you die, then you're kind of screwed. So it's kind of interesting is as you are getting near the boss, if you don't have a ton of lives, it's almost better to just suicide and um, 
you know, redo that level, not the part of the stage right before the boss. God damn it. Missile. Um, and then come to the boss with, like, full health. Um, and, like, a bunch of lives. Oh my god. Man, I can't just tank my way through this. Oh no! We're about to die! Wow. Hmm. Okay, we've got to figure out this boss's secrets. Every boss has secrets, if you look hard enough. Like, where do you stand so that he can't get you? Okay, ow, ow. Okay, not there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I can also shoot up, I need to remember that. That might be useful. Fighting a big giant toad tank and get my ass handed to me. Okay. Avoid that. Like, where to stand? Ow. Like, this seems to be pretty safe right here. Ow. Okay, yeah, this is- this is working. Occasionally he gets, like, a hit on me. Oh god, I got too, way too cocky. Okay, that was- that was a good place. That little place- that, that little nook that we found. I'm gonna call that Bucky's Nook. I'm gonna hide in Bucky's Nook. Ow. Ow. Okay, hold on. Bucky's Nook is not working anymore. Ow. Okay, Bucky's Nook works! Oh god. Oh god. No, Bucky's Nook. No! Don't! Don't! Oh god, we're not gonna make it, are we? Okay, here we are. We're in Bucky's Nook. He still gets, like, the occasional hit on me. It's, like, unavoidable. Are other characters any use here? Nah, he just takes hits. What about being a little tiny robot? No, he still hits me. Okay. Alright, we gotta be Bucky. We gotta get Bucky's Nook working. And we gotta be patient AF. It's the, the, the true test of any classic Nintendo gamer is how patient are you? Ow. Oh, here's, here's a thought. What if we don't destroy his radar dish first? Go, 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 go! Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, I was just thinking there. Like, what if we don't destroy the radar dish first? I'm gonna try that. Oh, yeah. Oh! I think I, I I got a pattern here. Oh, okay. I think this might be doable. Look, he's not rushing us, and he's blinking. Aha! Usually bosses blink when they're taking damage. Okay. This actually seems way more survivable to just try and dodge these things. I gotta get a bit better at it. But oh, we killed one of his hands! That is exciting. That is very exciting. Oh my god, now he doesn't shoot those stupid things anymore. Oh, he's done. He's done. We just gotta avoid the missiles? Okay. Wow, alright, we found the secret to him. Get out of here, missile. Kill you. Oh god, okay, but he still one hit kills you. Oh, wow, okay. Game changer, we got this. Yeah, surviving his, like, wave attacks, standing on this platform here is much more doable. Oh, ow. I'm, I'm getting cocky now, but I'm just excited. I'm excited we got this. Go back here. I don't care about the missiles hitting me. There we go, there we go, there we go. Ow. I'm just taking tons of damage, but I'm like, whatever. Once we kill this wave gun, yeah, now we're in the clear. Get out of here, missile. Okay, so like, we don't want- we, I'm trying to think strategically now. We don't want to kill his radar dish. I guess we have to. Ow. Get out of here, missile. 
God, get away. Alright. Go. This guy stay on top of the missiles. Oh, God, and I forgot he charges right away. Okay, we just have to be patient. Patient. Alright, once more into the breach, we got this. It's always fun to kind of, like, learn these boss patterns, I find. Oh, God. I mean, when you can learn them. Sometimes they're just, like, insane. God, why am I... Oh, my God. It's so, like, even when I'm trying to dodge, I'm still getting hit. It, this, this, like, wave gun of his is definitely, like, his hardest attack. Crap. He's doing really bad at dodging it. I'm just lucky that you don't actually have to be good at dodging it to actually destroy it. Jeez, I think we, he's hit us, like, every time with that stupid wave gun. All right, now... I guess we destroy this thing. Try and be... Patient. Oh, God, get out of here, missile. Oh, God. Out of here. And then he charges. Kill these, kill these stupid missiles. Oh, I can actually hit the missile when he's, like, going over top of me. Start shooting up. Oh, I've destroyed the missiles! Oh, now we just need to destroy his eye. Oh, he's done, man. He's done. I didn't even realize his eye was a target you could actually hit. To be totally honest. All right, now he can't get us at all. Unless I screw up. We got it. Boom! We did it! We... We gamed our way through that one, guys. We gamed our way through that boss. That's actually the first boss we've encountered that's been, like, a legit challenge, and we sort of had to develop a strategy for it, but that was actually pretty fun. I like that. Um, thanks, Bucky. Hey, it's the kid! While I was held captive, I kept busy putting together a new weapon. Jesus, a kid that makes weapons? What is happening? It's my one-shot-does-it-all blaster. Now you can call it... Thumber. If you press the fire button longer, it just gets stronger. Password 6NW9K. All right, this kid is dealing in high explosive weapons. Um, I like how the yellow planet is no longer yellow, but its moons are still red and purple. We didn't glass the moons. We only destroyed the biosphere of the, uh, of the, uh, you know, uh, planet itself. Okay, ice planet. Let's see this kid. Oh my god! Look at this kid. Oh, he look at this laser gun he's got. Boom! He ducks when he charges, and then, yeah, okay. So this kid, this kid means business, man. It's a powerhouse. This is, the, we call him the boss slayer. Um, hold on, let's try this guy. This guy said he could destroy... Oh, bricks, look at that. Oh, oh! Okay. <laughs> Little teddy bear man just fell in the water. So their abilities do do stuff. Look at this. You can destroy these bricks. Interesting. Oh, hello. Oh, there's power-ups in these things? Oh, okay, we get, well, we gotta destroy them all now. Didn't realize that was a possibility. Anything cool in there? Oh, God. Okay, little brick man is sort of like playing with fire. Let's go back to good old Bucky. He's the most sure-footed of the gang. I feel most comfortable with him. The other characters sort of feel like they don't move as well or jump as much. But, you know. Let's get up here with the little teddy bear man. Anything cool in here? Anything? Nothing. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I got to this level without this dude, I wouldn't be able to get through this ice here. Kinda interesting. I guess I would have been very stumped as to how to go further in this game. Oh, get out of here. Um, but, luckily, we avoided that. Die! Oh! Oh, this is a thing, like, from Battletoads, actually. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, they kill you. Okay. Alright, game over. As long as we can keep getting one, one act further into a level, we're doing good. You suck, kid! Oh my god, Bucky, don't... don't follow suit of that, dude. Oh my god. I guess I have to go to the right? Hmm. Jump! Nope. What?! He was about to turn! 
Game over. Every level, I find, has, like, one really hard, sort of puzzly part. Do it. Oh, <laughs> Alright. Yo, you know who I should be is the teddy bear, because he can fly. Maybe this is finally his time to shine. Yeah, go teddy bear. Oh, he flew over the gap. You did it, little T-man. T-bear, let's grab some power for this guy. <laughs> the kid face down dead in the snow. Is that, do you ever think you'd see that in a, in a Nintendo game? Oh my God, he got eaten by the, I was gonna call it a sandworm, but it's more like an ice worm. Imagine I selected end by accident here. I think if I did that, I that would be the end of our playthrough. I don't know if I have it in me to go through this game from the start. Uh oh, Teddy Bear Man, save us all! Teddy Bear Man, go fly to victory! <laughs> Not enough. Damn. All right, go Teddy Bear, go. Damn it. I'm just gonna be Bucky. Bucky knows what's going on. God damn it, Bucky, you suck. <laughs> game over, wow. If you didn't have Infinite Continues, this game would be like one of the hardest NES games out there. Okay. Couldn't make that jump, apparently. But not good. <laughs> My God. All right, here we go. Boom. Oh my god, I jumped too early. Continue. Man, these worm things are actually like... Tough, man. <laughs> I did the same thing! I'm, like, too antsy here. Okay, and go. Now wait for it. Go. Oh god. What the... Wait, how do you get past that part? Oh my god, you do have- you, you do need this guy to fly. Hold on, though. He's not powered up enough to fly. Wait, what hap- wait. Do these worms end, I wonder? Okay. Go, go, go. I like this. Okay, now what? Do these worms ever end? Fly? What the hell? <laughs> what are you supposed to do here? What the hell? Wait, hold on. Hold the phone. How the hell do you get past this part? Can you kill these things? No, you can't. Like, I'm legit con I'm- I'm just thinking here, aloud. I'm legit kind of confused. Can we kill with these guys? No. Oh wait, um, what's his face could hold on to walls, right? Maybe we gotta use that. This guy, Launchpad McQuack. Son of a bitch. Oh god, this part! You know what's sad is, I bet it's gonna get harder than this. Okay, go. Yeah, that guy does his thing now. Now, apparently we have infinite time to figure this out. So, what is this guy's... We might actually finally figure out this guy's power. Jump. So he's glowing. Oh, he can climb walls, you... You little bastard, you were hiding that ability from- OH! YOU STILL DIED! <laughs> YOU STILL DIED! WHAT?! My god. So this guy does have an ability after all. He's not useless. Yeah, let's experiment with this for a bit. So he can do that. Can he like grab ceilings? No, he can't. Okay. So this guy destroys that. Okay, blinks, jump. Oh, you, what the, you can't get there. Oh, maybe you have to fly as the teddy bear? Wait, can you do that? Do we have to combine? Oh, fuck. 
There's too much snakes! Can we combine abilities? No, you can't switch characters once you've powered up. Okay. This is hard. I, I legit think maybe you're just supposed to fly here, but we, uh... We just don't have enough power as a little teddy bear man. Oh! We were so close! Okay, let's try one more time. I'm gonna look up a walkthrough if literally we can't do it after I try my last idea here. But I think... Maybe what we do, we just have to be like right on the edge. Like we really, really we need more power for Teddy Bear Man here. God. Yeah, oh, son of a bitch. I just tapped to the right and he totally walked off. I did not do that. Okay. Okay. Oh God, get away. We just need to be like right on the edge. Oh, I was almost there. Okay, good. Going for it! Oh, Teddy Bear Man, you bastard! All right, what the hell? What? What? We gotta look this up. Okay, this is the part we're stuck on. Like this guy has like no power. Oh wait, what the hell? Wait, hold on. He just skipped the whole. How did you do that? Hold on, I gotta see what he did again. Wait, how did- why is that thing going down? Wait, hold on. I don't think that's the part we were on, actually. I think it's th this is the part we're stuck on. Oh my god, wait, what? Okay, hold on. He's playing as a teddy bear man, and he somehow got the, s the third snake to come in late. Alright. So, apparently it was... ...nothing to do with flying. You just go for it! Oh my god, why didn't I figure that out? Alright, now we're on the next screen. We'll figure this next one out on our own. Damn. Alright. I was overthinking it, I guess. Wow, if you just stand there, you just straight up die. Level starts, and if you're not moving, you're already dead. Oh my god. Okay, I definitely want to kind of go up there, I think. Go! Go, go, go! Wait, what? Damn it. <laughs> I, I, these snake parts suck. They are an intricate puzzle, man. Oh my god, I, I got ahead of the snake. I got plumb ahead of the snake. Oh, and we're dead. Because I you have to react as soon as the level starts. Or you're done. All right, go, 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 oh yeah, go, 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 all right, we did, oh my god, frogs everywhere, get out of here, frogs, all right, and we're dead, go back to being Bucky. I, I'm shocked that that other guy could actually, or will be, uh, Joey here, hey, they have, oh, you bastard, he melted the thingy, okay, we need this guy to kill this, jo oh no, now we're just screwed. Serious? Fly! <laughs> that jetpack is so useless. It's like, you might as well just jump. Alright, here's a one up. Because we all know how useful those are to me. Oh my god. Ah, god. The, uh, the worst thing about taking damage is it knocks you out of, like, charging up one of your, uh, supers. That's, like, the most inconvenient thing about it. The actual taking of the damage is relatively inconsequential. Let's just go, go, go! No fancy stuff, no little robots here. Just a green rabbit trying to get his friends and get home. And uh, he doesn't care about anything else. Boom, boom, boom! And... Charging up your jump is actually a good way to stop from sliding on the ice. Oh, look, life. Don't mind if I do. Am I supposed to be killing that thing? Or just surviving? Is this just sort of like a wave survival mode? Oh, I see. And they're slowly destroying the thing that I'm on. Okay. 
I presume there that there will be uh, some kind of ending here. Crap. Okay. Survive as long. So this is the first time where killing these enemies actually matters. This is kind of cool though. This is like a, an early wave survival mode in video games. I can't think of like Contra definitely didn't have like timed survival thingies. So it seems like a more modern invention, like wave survival. But uh. Yeah, that's kind of cool, actually. Like, when you think about it. Neat concept for a game. Oh, God. Don't know how many people had, had actually done it before. Anyone? Nami might have been uh, breaking new ground here. Oh, you bastards. Okay, now we get to the point where we just suck it up. Suck, <laughs> suck it up. And take damage. Because I can't, uh... Can't be jumping around anymore. Alright, we passed that. Oh, you... Jerks. Oh, look at this. Oh, what the hell? All oh, those are spikes? Okay. Well, we must be getting near the end here. Nice try, buddy. Wait, what, what am I supposed to be doing here? Hold on. Wait, what? Can I jump down? Die, 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 die! Am I supposed to go up? Wait, what? Wait, do we have to look at the walkthrough again? I don't want to do that. Why is this confusing? Okay. So these guys are immune. What could the point of this be? What do they want us to do here? They're trying to send us a message. Hmm. Flying your little jetpack. No, does nothing. Okay, well I can jump up here as Bucky. So that is something. I just instantly take damage. Okay, and then I die. I guess I'm gonna try and get to the the top right, I guess? Maybe I have to like... God. The fact that you can't kill these little frog guys is actually super inconvenient. Oh wait, let's try this. Okay. Then... Boom. Oh, oh, you dick! Oh, I tried to jump and I got a head full of spikes. Okay, we do that. How about this? Jump on top of this? No? Oh, you dick. Okay, now what? Where do I go? What do I do here? Oh, wait. Climb with this guy? Okay, you cannot. How do I kill these things? I don't mind there being like cryptic elements in a game, but like... I don't know, like unless I'm really dumb, I feel like there was nothing obvious that I was supposed to be doing there. Like, what do you do here? Break that. Wait, what? Wait, what? What did he do? How does that work? What? What is happening here? Oh, the spikes that those guys throw? Break the floor? Alright, enough spoilers. Okay, well, I feel like that... ...is, uh... Oh my god, wow. That is so cryptic. How would anyone figure that out? Oh, and we just got killed anyway, so it didn't even matter. Like... If you pay attention to the spikes, it's not like they're hitting the ice and then being destroyed. So here's how I would fix this level, first of all. I wouldn't have... Oh, well, I guess they are. But here's how I would fix this level. I would make the blocks under this guy's blocks not be just spikes. I would make them be, uh, like, blocks that look different from the rest of the terrain. So that there's some indication that you should do what, uh, what I just did. Because that is, that is cryptic. Cryptic man. Wait, what killed me? Oh, there's spikes. They look like they were in the background. These, uh, these cavernous spikes are not as obvious also as I would like, like them to be. Let's break these. There we go. Just dropping them on. Look at this guy. What are you doing with your life, buddy? You're just continually stacking ice for no reason. Oh, God. Okay, go in here. Who do we want to have power? 
I guess we want the little robot, too. He seems to be the character that you're supposed to be playing this level with. The little robot dude. Oh, God. Um. Okay, go. Oh, my God. Ow. Oh, my God. Ow. Oh, my God. Ow. Oh, my God. Go, go, go. Ow. Ow. Oh, God. Ow. <laughs> All right, we got, hey, look, giant uh, Mario tubes. All right, you know what we do actually? Oh, look, life. I was gonna say, we have a fully charged flying capacity. We Still not super impressive, but... Oh, God. And go, woo! Oh, God, wait, that guy took so many hits. Okay, let's give the power to the kid, I guess him nice and jacked. Oh, there's a frog in that icicle thingy. Are those eggs? Are those frog eggs? Oh my god, the robot sucks. He's so weak. I want this kid to, like, actually have a chance to fight something, because the kid's got this laser gun. Or whatever the heck it is. Um, okay. Nope, oh, kill that guy. Yeah, kill that guy. Anything else cool in these eggs? One's ups? One's ups. Oh, and a, and a frog. Or a toad, sorry. All right. The kid's time to shine. Nice try, crocodile man. Is this a boss already? Is this all he can do? Oh, he's, he's slowly burying us in sewage. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, I see. He, like, freezes the ground. I feel like this guy is... We got this guy. Oh, oh god, oh god, ow. Come on, kid. Finish him. Okay, we're getting to a point where we can't jump anymore, kid. Alright, you got him. Was that faster than Bucky? I mean, I guess I didn't do any charge shots against him, but I wouldn't have been able to. I wouldn't have had enough time. He would just hit me out of the charge. So. I don't know. I guess, I guess the kid's powerful. He got a laser gun. Whatever. I, Captain, we can croak all the toads with my beam blaster and toad turbo ball. All right, Bucky brought his brave crew together again. Yes, he did. Oh no, it's a trick which the toads set to capture Bucky O'Hare. They're gonna capture him in their evil toad ship. All oh, the tractor beaming him right into the cargo bay, which Looks like a frog or toad mouth. I wonder if frogs would get super offensive that I keep confusing toads with frogs. They're like, yo, man, we're not toads. Frogs are different things. Wake up, Blinky. Blinky, Captain, we're trapped in a toad mothership. Think of Blinky like the data character on Star Trek. Bucky, they've taken my crew for sport. Blinky, Captain. We must save the crew before. Password. For what? Um, okay. Act one of our cell. Oh, now we're in jail. Um, oh, it's just the two of us. Hey, if you hold select, you just constantly change. Okay. Kill, kill, kill. All right, we're busting out of jail here. Hey, can we save, like, other... Uh, other random aliens that have also been taken hostage. You know, we just saved the princess girl, and now we've lost her already. Kind of, uh... Kind of feels like we didn't even get a chance to try out her abilities. She's like, my beam blaster is great. Next scene, oh, I'm being kidnapped! Save me! Oh my god. Alright. Hope you're ready to fly, little robot. Oh god! Oh, he flows. Flew so far, actually. I think this robot is not so useless as he looks. He's he's tricking us. I'm gonna get that power. Yeah! You go, robot! Oh, God. Hey, Bucky, jump! This is like a precarious level. Why did they put so many spikes and pits in a game where a spike and a pit is a one-hit kill? Like, they, they, they went all out with it, man. I've always felt like... Oh my god, damn it. I've, I've always felt like a pit, fine, that's a one-hit kill, you fall to your death, but spikes? How about giving me a little leeway on spikes? 
Video game characters can get hit with bullets and stuff. How about for a spike, you don't full-on kill my character. You just take a bit of damage away. And then if you, you know, want, uh... Want, uh, to... To kill him in one hit with a pit, just make it a pit. Don't put spikes, you know? Like, I feel like spikes... There, there should be a little more leniency on spikes in games. Hey, dude. Oh, you're a bad guy. What? I was gonna save you. Not anymore. Oh, God. Get away from me, man. Look at that. What is that thing? Huh. Okay, whatever. Oh, and up we go. Okay, here's another exit. I like how we're on sort of like a prison break. The select button, by the way, got super sensitive. Look, if I just touch it, like, I switch back and forth between the two characters so fast I can't even select the other character. Oh my god. I'm trying to switch to the robot there, the little uh, teddy bear guy there. Alright, go, go. Okay, pro tip, when there are space pigs in toad jail, don't bother saving them, because they are not grateful. Oh god. Die. Ugh, oh, die. Might actually die from health this time. Ow. Oh my god, we did. <laughs> Just a little face down teddy bear. On a conveyor belt, it's dark. Aim gets- has some dark moments. There we go. So those laser beams are not to be trifled with. Oh god, kill, kill! Okay. Kill? Alright, we haven't taken a single hit yet. Doing good. And then we just got to... Find that. Find that, ow. And whatever. <laughs> Oh my god, half my life is gone! Jeez. Oh, this is like one of them, like, Mega Man parts. Hmm. How about we, uh... Cheese it! <laughs> oh, there's something over here, too, actually. Alright. Oh god, why did I jump through spikes there? I really don't want to fall through the floor. I really don't want to fall through the floor and have to do this all over again. Very careful. Kill this guy. Oh, he wants nothing to do with us? Alright, whatever. Jump, jump, jump. Ooh, hello! The princess! Or whatever. What is happening? Oh, she's being electrocuted? She got turned bad. And we just died. <laughs> Wait, what? We have to fight her? Okay. So, now... Okay, I cannot fight this guy. Okay, he just ran off. Okay, well at least- Oh god, I was gonna say, at least it'll be an easy fight. But I- I stand mistaken. Where's she going? Ow. Oh. oh god. You're gonna kill me, man! I'm on your side! Come back to life! Oh god. Come back to the good guy's side, man. I can't even switch to the other character. All right, Teddy Bear Man. Bust his wall so we can save whatever her face is. God damn it. And get away from this guy. Can I just stand here and, like, pelt her with balls? Ow. Oh, God. Ow. Got it. Switch to the teddy bear. Switch to the teddy bear! <laughs> get her, get her, get her, get her. Get her, get her, get her, get her. Get her, get her. Oh god, I'm missing every single one of those. Damn it. Okay. I think I got this. There we go. Oh god, switch to the teddy bear! When I tell you to switch to the teddy bear, you switch to the goddamn teddy bear game! Oh. More damage, more damage, more damage, more damage. Oh my god. Those balls, those green balls are like, deadly. Alright, we got a pattern going down here. Flip. <laughs> go, 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 get her! The ability to shoot down with the teddy bear's balls here are actually like, really useful. And I always like, align that poorly. I don't know what happened to the select key, but I wish it wasn't so 
sensitive. Oh my god. I saw that coming. Alright, let's try this again. You know what we need to do is we gotta clear this stupid one up here. That one that's like in the way. Okay. Wait for the jailer to go away. Let me go like this. Boom. Easy. Oh yeah. That is easy. We got the positioning down, the timing down. We got it all down. Oh yeah, she can't even hit us. She can't touch us. Go, 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 go! Ugh. Still can't switch the characters that I want fast enough, though. Am I supposed to be killing her, by the way? Like, is this doing anything? Or should I be going for those, like, uh... Blue cell areas... ...behind her? Oh, look at this. And the teddy bear just rocks her world. Oh, oh, you... Damn it, <laughs> she got me. I'm gonna try something different here. I'm gonna let her go up. I'm just gonna see what's hanging around in here. Absolutely nothing. Oh, we saved her. I was like, in, I was like a minute away from killing her and saving her. I've lost myself in a hypnotic beam. Don't worry, I rescued you. Uh, okay. What do I do now? Did she join me? Did she join me. Alright. Now we can be her. She has laser mind powers. Oh! You charge her attack and it can go wherever you want it to. Oh, that's kind of cool. Like a controlled projectile. Cool. Okay, let's be her for a bit. Oh no, we still need to be the little robot dude. We gotta break break all the boxes. Man, if I had if I had not saved this guy and I gone to the ice level, I would have been so confused. What are these? Oh, they just break. Um oh this is interesting. I think I understand how this goes. Oh, I see. Go up. Over. Let me get the one up. Boom! Now, what is over here? Anything cool? I just like exits. So let's go over to the right here. Oh, I didn't realize that all those had to be broken. I understand now. There's like no point of being any other character right now. This is crazy. Gotta be the little robot dude. All right, like a big enough hole for him to sleaze his way through. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> oh no, robot, little robot dude. You suck, you screwed up. And by you, of course, I mean me. So we, had, we still have like two more dudes to save. I'm trying to think of how many people were in our party. Yeah, there was the kid, there was like the class nerd, and then like Launchpad McQuack who also knew how to, um, climb walls. That was his secret ability. He's really into climbing. Hey, another one up. But it cancels out my previous failures. Hmm. Oh, there we go. I was wondering how long I'd have to study that pattern before I'd be able to get it, but... And it came pretty easily. Go! Alright. Let's be the girl. Got a new power. Even though she doesn't seem ideal for this part. Oh, can't break these. What the hell? They look like destructible, like all the other blocks he's been breaking. Guess they're not the right color, though. Oh my god. Okay, let's be girl. Use her power. Oh, get it! Oh, it just flew up! Flew up and like... Okay, let's do it like this. Yeah! 
Controllable projectiles. Oh my god. Okay, kill those, kill those. Fly! <laughs> Jeez. There's another one up there. Jeez. They're just giving it away. What is over here? I knew, like, some ground was gonna fall away there. You can tell they just wanna screw you. Um, boom. Uh, ow. Oh my god. Yikes. So here's my question. Like, over here... Oh, well. That, that was actually way easier than using the mind control stuff. Okay. Fly! Okay, over here, we have the ability to just go straight to the right. What happens if we just do that? Like, if we're just like, whatever. Oh, there's another dude to save. Oh, hello! Oh yeah, but of course he's gonna turn bad. How do you get that? Oh god. We just throw balls on him. Oh god. Okay, we got to, uh, we gotta learn this guy's pattern now. Okay, and then he shoots one there. We drop balls on him. And then he shoots one there. Alright, the little robot's got this, guys. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. He's killed more <laughs> powerful people than this. Wow. This little robot is actually, like, this, the hidden secret character of the game. Oh, god. Almost forgot about that attack. It's like he does he does most of the heavy lifting in this game. Boom. Also, I like how when your your friends get kidnapped, your solution is just beat them up until they remember it's you. Ow. Just beat them up until they remember it's you. That's I think that's the medical treatment for amnesia. You just beat the person up until they remember their old life. Call it a day. Most of medicine is based around brawling. The heavy brawling history in modern medicine theory. Modern medicinal theory. Centered around boxing. Bit of a kung fu and street fighting built into modern medicine theory. It's all in the theory that people just need to get beat up more. The world Wouldn't the world be a better place? I don't know what I'm talking about. When, when I play NES games for too long, my mind begins to go been babbling to myself for like over an hour god damn they make these guys take so much damage i figured out the pattern can't you just let me have it rinse and repeat there you go we saved you buddy want to shoot you a few extra times for good measure thank you dead eye may be caught at the top all right noted fly our way up here and shoot all right well we got the kid um. Oh, then we exit this way. See, the kid has like no abilities other than like a gun. So it kind of makes me feel like, why did we even bother to save him? Like, it's not like he adds anything. Damn it, she should have got the power. <laughs> okay. Well, she might have another chance to get the power, I guess. Oh my god. Hold on, we're gonna have to memorize this. We're finally at a, uh, a part here. I'm gonna pick the little dude. If I can get to him, there he is. Okay, so... God. Two, three, one, two, three. Oh god, that actual jump is brutal. Maybe I just charge my way out of there. Okay, hold on. Go, one, two, three. Go! Oh, that worked. Oh, nice. Good job, little robot. You've earned your keep. Okay. I think I can just do this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's okay, I remember the pattern. Boom. Okay, never mind. Wow. Hey, we only have continue and end now. There's no stage select or anything else. 
We're getting near the end, guys. We got one more dude to save. And then... After that... We got, um... Probably a final boss. And that's probably it. Okay. Good, good, good. Good. Okay. Kill these. Nothing. Okay, well... Wait, why would you want to go up? I don't understand that. Maybe there's like a secret there we missed. Hmm. I'm trying to think for this one. What do we want to do? Maybe we can just fly up to that platform right there. Go! Oh, he did it! Okay, we're gonna try and get her some power. We did. Oh my god, and we didn't die. Sweet, look at this. Oh, her thing gets bigger. That's cool, when you power her up. Neat. Alright, back to the little robot who will save us all. Gotta save us, little man. Oh god. Okay, I was gonna try and stand between those two pink blocks, because they kept spawning off and on. I think that's the secret there. Go. One, two... Shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Rome wasn't built in a day. Crap, my timing for that last one was just way off. All right, we're learning. We're learning. Go. One, three. God. We go and charge. Crap. Wait, how did I do that the one time? I think I gotta be closer to the left edge. Go! Alright, he made it. He made it. Now, I just need to wait for this one. Go like this and this. Go like this. Crap! Oh, I could've just stayed on that first one. I didn't have to go on the second one. Okay. Go. Oh, crap! Crap! <laughs> Man, these one-hit kills from the spikes! Brutal. Okay, we got this. Go. Go! Oh, man, he just, like, slides through there, like, just barely. He just barely makes it. I'm just gonna stay on this one. Yeah, look at that, you don't even need the other one. You don't even need to- I wonder what this up thing is all about, honestly. Like, is there a secret? Like, why would this be there? I don't know. Seems just kind of like a... I don't know. Something that just uh, leads you astray. A red herring. By the way, do we have- Her power is constant, right? Yeah. She got her power up. It's not going anywhere. Okay. So I want to be on here, and then basically I want to get onto this pink block here. Oh god. Okay, we're standing in just the right spot. <laughs> I give me a second to really think about what my what I want to do next here. Okay. Oh son of a bitch! I should have just fallen forward. Why did I jump? Ugh, the pixel detection on this stupid spikes. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Uh, we're only on Act 5. There's like... Seven acts in these stupid levels. Dear God, that's brutal. It's funny, like, an hour ago I thought we were almost done the game. How foolish I was. Oh my God! done it faster. I wonder, like, this first part, we're, I think, I guess we're cheesing it. That's why it's, like, so hard. Go! Get the life. Okay, then we wait for the green block to come back. Then we go, then we go, then we go. Then we go. We just stay on this, because there's no point in getting on anything else. Jump on this. Walk off those. Okay. Then we just fly our way up. Up here. We get on this. Okay, 
now. Oh god, this next part. Like, Ricky, okay. Oh god. Okay. The once. Okay. Go. Oh, and go. And go. Oh my god, I did it. Dear god, that is tricky. Oh, my, my palms are literally sweating. Um... What? Didn't we just do this? Wait, what? Huh? I have to do this again? I'm so confused. Wait, why am I doing this again? Okay, well, at least we know how to do it now. We know the pattern. Oh my god. Is this like one of those things, like, if you don't do it in the right order, and you have to do it again? Just look at this. Why are we doing this a second time? And we're gonna fly our way up to victory. Okay, go on this thing. Oh god. Oh god, look, we're not even on the platform anymore. Okay, go. 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 I'm gonna try going down this time, because we totally just did that twice. Can I get this? There we go. Okay. Ah, this now looks different. All right. Oh my god, what- wait, what- what the hell is all this stuff? Oh god, Bucky! Oh my god, okay, we're supposed to shoot up there. Didn't realize that fast enough. Okay, shoot up, shoot up, shoot up. Kill all this junk. Go, 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 go. Okay, whatever, take some hits. We can- we can afford a few hits from a few errant rocks here. That's okay, or brains or whatever. <laughs> Where are we? We've got a crazy elevator shaft full of rock brains. Oh my god. Okay. Kill him. Kill him. Don't stop shooting up. Oh no! Oh no! Oh god. We almost screwed up. Okay, we'll take that hit. Okay, we are actually son of a bitch. I was gonna say we're very close to just dying from hits. Crap, and now our life's gonna be gone too, isn't it? All right. I'm gonna try and maintain a chasm width of three. And that way, fuck, I can dodge stuff. God damn it. Man, this is brutal. Is there another character that would be better for this? Yeah, hold on, maybe it's, oh God. Go! That did not help anything. Go! Go! She can, like, easily clear, like, one column, but I don't know if that's super useful. Like, look at that. Go! Okay, well... It, it's kind of too, too deadly to try and skip her. <laughs> like, change to another character. Oh, God. Go! Oh, she's gonna die! Son of a bitch. Alright, so she sucks. This is- this is a Bucky part. This part was- Bucky was made for this, man. Alright, come on, Bucky. Dig deep, space cowboy. Buck Rogers wannabe. Come on, man. You can't do this, nobody can. Oh, God, okay, let's just- Oh, my God. I'm scared to move left or right. Oh my god, look, it's like, t it's going through his head! <laughs> Somehow that doesn't kill him. I'm not gonna move, man. Might be cheap, but this is how I'm getting through this level. Oh, nice try. Drop a rock on me. Oh, thank god. Okay. Don't move. Nobody needs to be a hero here today. Just take that rock right to the face, Bucky. You got it, man. You got it. Kill the frog. No, you know what? Let him live. Okay. Nobody has to be a hero. Okay, go this way. Go this way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why? Why are they doing this to me? Urgh, go! <laughs> no. <laughs> go! I'm not fast enough for this part, guys! Oh, I, I didn't sign up for this much tension here today. And those toads have terrible aim, eh? They just shoot right past you. 
They miss every time. Terrible henchmen. I don't know why the Toad Space Force keeps hiring these guys. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow. I am very grateful these Toads have terrible aim. Oh, my God. We actually made it. Oh, the exit! Get me to the exit! Go! Holy crap! That was stressful. Okay, we are... We are making it, man. We are making it. Okay, how are we gonna fight this guy? Can we just do this? Okay, he likes to climb the walls. We can shoot through the walls, though. Aha! And you didn't count on a little boy with a laser beam, did ya? This is like the easiest of all the bosses. Here, let's do a charge shot on him. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do a real charge shot. Boom! Doesn't seem any more effective than our normal shots. Thank God we have this kid, actually, though. The ability to shoot through walls is really making it easy to kill this guy. Alright, we saved you, buddy. Enough lasers will fix anything. We also did your eyes, and uh, now you're hairless. Laser removal of your whole body. Everybody is all right. No thanks to you, Dick. You just tried to kill us. Um, let us see, though. If we can, um... Oh, did I just pass the level? Oh, that's it. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought we were gonna have to save everyone and then go fight a final boss, but is there one more level? <laughs> Jenny, Captain, what shall we do? Bucky. We have to escape, Jenny. Now. I like how it's duck, cat, robot with one eye, rabbit, and boy. Or actually, it could be a girl, to be honest. I don't know. Could be either. Could be a pat. I calculate we are near the core of the magma tanker. Bucky, let's follow the salvage chute down to the center, then we can blow their tanks. Deadeye, yo, Bucky, let's ionize the slime eating toadies. Oh, yeah. They're gonna get ionized, folks. Salvage chute. Oh, what is this? What am I fighting? What is this? You can't hit me worth crap. Is this a boss of some kind? I literally haven't touched the D-pad. But I'm not terrified anymore. You invincible? No, you're not. Alright, well, one enemy down. Can we walk on these? Yes, we can. Oh, those are spikes! <laughs> you bastard. You gaming bastard. We're at different characters here. Oh my god, that she split them! Uh, have an energy ball. Oh god. There you go. Boom. Uh, they actually can hit her. And she kind of sucks. Okay. How about we just Bucky him? Oh, we destroyed one of them. Now what? Do this, I guess. Max power energy ball. Max power energy ball. There we go. I guess she's kind of handy if you just want to, like, stand in one spot and still kill guys. Um... Aw, oh, you dicks. Okay, well, whatever. Um... Let's be... Bucky. Jump over that! Oh my god, I almost died on the spike still, even with that mega jump. Oh my god, you s I still died! Damn. You know what this reminds me of is the Technodrome level in, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Where's the kid? Did I lose him? I'm, like, switching by him so fast. There he is. Oh, they actually hit me. Man, the first time I fought these guys, they were- it was way more... fair. Right. Like, I'm in sort of, like, a, a techno base or something. Very Technodrome-y. Oh, God. I already. I can't hit people with her laser beam. I'm trying to see how good her laser beam is. It's no kid's laser beam. Boom, boom. 
Maybe I should just be this guy who can shoot diagonally. Where is he? Okay, right, look at this. Super easy. Um, yeah, like, look, if you hold select, look at this. Look at that mess. Okay, you definitely have to, like, bucky your way over these spikes here, because they will kill you. Be the kid. Oh, God. Oh, my God. These things are actually going to kill me. Die, die, die. There we go, we got it. Oh, it respawns! What the? <laughs> okay, so you have to fight it over here. And we are- we're not passing this level here. Oh my god. And we're dead. I guess being, um, the sort of invincibility thing that happens when you get hit does not save you from spikes. Jeez. Oh my god, these things take forever to kill. Whatever, let's just run past them. Worst thing that could happen to us is we die in spikes. Oh, these guys have like the hit points of like a boss. Do we really have to like beat them? This doesn't seem right. Like this is crazy. And so the first one is not so bad, but the later ones you can't screen scroll the screen back to the left to get room to fight them, or they're just gonna respawn. Like, okay, you can actually make that jump, okay? But then, like, this. Like, you, you can't go further to the left, or you're just dead. Because this thing will just keep respawning. What the hell? Oh, you can't even jump that! Seriously? Okay, the game just became bullshit with these stupid spikes in this, uh, this level here. Okay, let's try it, try it a couple more times. Uh, honestly, we might actually be at the end. This has been a very long video, and I know, I know we're like, we're close to the end. End of the game, so maybe it feels disappointing to give up, but also at the same time, like, this is, this is kind of like, BS. Like, this guy... Okay, ow. Like, let's just run past him. Oh, you have to- oh, I thought I was supposed to go into that pit. Okay, actually, I have a new strategy. Maybe we won't call it quits. A new strategy is this. Let's just, uh, let's just run through this part. You take more damage actually fighting those guys than just skipping the battle altogether. Look, look at that! <laughs> How much time did I spend trying to fight them when literally you could just, uh, not? Okay, never mind, we're not gonna give up. We're not gonna give up just yet. Die. Die. Um. Wonder if I could get that power up thing that was up there. Switch to this guy. This guy's the one who needs it. Go! Nah, we can't. Alright, let's just do our thing. Oh god! Now this reminds me of a Ninja Turtles level. There's a level where like spiky walls are coming down to get you, and you have to try and uh not to die. I mean, I suppose trying not to die is pretty much your goal in every video game level. But still. Right, let's just go as a little robot dude. Ow. Oh. We have a chance to get this again. Um... Hmm. I wish I could get it with a character that actually mattered, because I don't think he needs it. And... I don't know. Let's... Let's see what we can do here. Oh. Okay, hold on. Go. Go! Oh, he got it! You got it, dude! Alright, you're the one who I wanted to get it, too. So that's pretty good. Uh, let's turn to the little robot if we can. Here we go. Boom, boom. The one up down there. Oh my god. Never mind. Let's go down into the... The right. Oh, you dick. You dicks! Oh god. Okay... Down... Shh. Damn it! I fell through a layer of spikes? Into another set of spikes? Uncool, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
You kind of want to be on that, like, center platform, I think, where I just died. Alright, I'm not gonna waste time getting anything other than life. Life is the nectar of life. Fuck. <laughs> oh, we're on- <laughs> we're on part two of this level. Alright. I don't want to give up, though, because I feel like we legit probably are getting rather close. Okay, we got that. Oh god. Shoot, do we even want that power? Is there any character that needs it? One. Her. Oh, she got it. Oh my god, I should turn into a little teddy bear. Alright, well all of our characters are max powered, so that's kind of nice. But we also have no lives, which is a bit of a problem. Oh my god. And... go. What the fuck? Man, this- this part is hard. You have to like, sort of, uh... You no, know, it, it- it reminds me of the lava cavern that we encountered, like the first difficult part of the game we got to, on like the second screen. When we were playing. Oh god. Like, I want that life that's in there. It's actually very valuable to me. Well, I guess it won't matter because we're gonna have to continue before I know it, so maybe I shouldn't even bother. I shouldn't even bother, should I? Oh, fuck you! Come on! I- uh, You're dying to, like, spike things that are, like, off the screen. It's like, how am I supposed to time my jumps if I can't even see what's below the screen? Like, that's kind of bullshit. Come on! Oh my god. Right, I take it back, maybe this will be the, uh, end of our Let's Play. Oh well, whatever, we don't get that life. It's one hit kills anyway, what- what difference does it make how much stupid life I have? Like, what the f- Come on! Come on, Konami, what were you thinking? This part of the game is insane. Okay, we got a little bit of life. Oh god. Oh, F you, man. F you. So you kind of want to get on that second one, I think, and then wait a cycle. Guess that's the play. God. Okay. So we're going to kind of get on this and wait a cycle. Then we're going to go for this. <sighs> oh, God. And then you want to stay on the third one down there. That better be the end of this part. I find these parts just tedious, you know? Like, they're... It's not... It's not that fun, because here's the thing, like, if it's like... I can see the timing... Fuck. If I can see the timing of everything, then that's one thing. But it's like, many times, you have to, like, know where things that are off the screen are going to be... ...before you can make your move. Why do I keep dying there? Um, and that's just kind of brutal, man. Like, that's not- that's not fun, that's just luck. So it feels like I'm dying through no fault of my own, so... It's not challenging so much as it is punishing. We stay here... We get this thing... Go down, and I want to stay on the th third one down. Okay. And then we go down... And then I don't have- like, I don't know what to do now, I'm just gonna die. Oh, I made it! Oh, thank god, okay, let me out of that hellhole. What the hell? This stuff's gonna kill me, isn't it? <laughs> what? What? Get that sweet one up and just let- I'm just running through this. Part. Yeah, get out of my way. Get out of my way. Oh, what- what is all this? Look at all the bugs! The crazy bug infestation, man. Um... Okay. Okay. See, that life did come in sort of handy because I need it for this part. Taking a lot of damage, actually. Oh man, those stupid spiky wall tube things were the worst. Oh, get out of here! Hey, we made it past another screen, alright. Well, if the remaining screens are no harder- Oh! What the- there's a brain slug on me! <laughs> I can't jump. Die, brain slug! Oh, I can't even hit it. Oh, it's feeding off me! Look, it's getting bigger. This is crazy. What do I do? 
Look, I, I can't jump or anything. I'm gonna use my power of flight. Yeah! And I died. Okay, brain slugs, once you get on them, you're just screwed? I gotta kill these things. They, they are like one hit monsters. Okay, we have to go through this part very slowly. We charged up her attack for a reason. Oh, it just went right off the screen. Okay, we charged up her attack for a reason, yes. All right, I knew you weren't useless, Jenny. Okay, and now we don't even need that life, so. Oh God, oh God damn brain slugs. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can just fly over this pit. And I died on the spikes. And the brain slug was like, ew, I'm out of here. Um, all right. Oh, God. All right, Jenny, let him have it. I would love to see somebody who's good at this game get through this part, because I'm probably doing this, like, really slowly. Oh, God. Look at that thing just hanging out there. There, we got you. All right, this level was kind of made for her, I think. We can throw this thing down. No, we can't. So her thing always kind of goes up and to the right. That's how it goes. Oh, my God. Okay, I had to risk jumping. Oh, what the hell? He respawned? What the? Okay, let's see if we can... Uh... There we go. Just kill it that way. Another one. I wonder if there's a way to get these brain slugs off you when they do attach to you, because if so, it's not as deadly as I think to get a brain slug, but man, I could not figure it out. There we go. Oh my god. The the respawning brain slugs I could do without, though. There we go. Uh, let's be the little robot man. He was made for flying over gaps like this, you little robot bastard. Oh my god, and we were dead. Probably all of our life bar is gone now, too. Yeah, it is. You little robot bastard. My god. At least we get to keep all of our power-ups. Like, all of our characters remain powered up forever now, but... Oh god. Oh god, that stupid thing is back. Brain slug bug creature. guy, the old fashioned way. We'll kill this guy too. Ew! No, we won't. Okay. Going like this. There, we got him. Okay, got him. These spikes are, like, so deadly. How do I do this part? Maybe I just jump. Oh god, oh god. The stupid respawning enemies, too, <laughs> does not help stuff. All right. All right, Jenny actually made it through a part. Let's get this guy to climb the wall now. Go, 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 go! All right, and now we can get power. Who needs power still? Nobody. All right, Bucky can have it. We'll get a one-up. As we can. Kill these guys. All right, we're making... We're back to making progress. And get one more screen further. Okay. I want the flying robot for this part. Go! Alright, that worked out well. <gasps> yes! Another level part. Done. I guess they're just giving you tons of power now. Oh my god, robot man! Um because if you don't if you have some characters who still aren't powered up, crap, they're just like, you know what, just go ahead, power them up. Just do it. Yay. Spikes are the nemesis of this game. Like, for realsies. Oh my god. Oh god. And honestly, having a life bar that is largely irrelevant is just kind of annoying. <laughs> Make my life bar matter, damn it. So weird. Here's a life bar. 90% of the game is spikes. And we just died to spikes. Also, for the love of God, let those one-ups that we collect respawn when we die. 
Don't be stingy about it. I mean, I guess we have infinite continues, so I can't complain that much, but I am complaining. If you're gonna give me infinite continues, why tease me with one-ups that disappear? This cruel man. Cruel and unusual punishment. Man, we died right at the end. That sucks. Oh, uh, where's Bucky? Oh God. Uh-oh. Wait, do, is, does the light ever come back? Um, okay, this part's brutal. I think I'm standing on something. I don't know what I'm standing on. Okay, jump. This is, this is terrifying. Okay, there's got, there's got to be something down there, right? Oh, son of a bitch! I didn't realize I was on the ledge. Okay, so this part, just go for it. Oh, oh, what killed me? What killed me? I just died to nothing. What? What the hell? What? 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 Did the water coming out of the pipes kill me? See how there's like a waterfall of water coming out of the pipes? Did that somehow kill me? That is insane if that's what happened. All right, I'm just taking my time. I think I'm right near a ledge. Oh my god, this part is also not my favorite. I'm gonna jump for it. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. Okay. I think I'm right at a ledge. Yeah, almost. Okay, it's just uh, a nice big jump there. Another nice big jump. Okay. Power jump here too. Boom. All right, there we go. This one is just like a lot of leaps of faith. And I just have to go for it. Also at the beginning there, it's helpful to just like run for it, you know? Like you have five seconds of light, don't waste it. I'm like right at a ledge. Jump! Go! Oh my god, it actually worked. There's a one-up up there. What is this thing? Oh, 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 I'm sinking! Hold on, what am I- what am I in? Oh, this thing ate- wait! It just straight up ate me! Oh, I got eaten by a weird... Uh... Sewage monster. Okay. So, don't stand on those things. Also, Bucky made no effort to not get eaten by that thing. He was like, whatever, just take me. You've given up all hope, man. Um, oh, there's like life and stuff up there. Hold on. Oh, I think this little robot can make it up there. Go, little robot! Oh, maybe Bucky can just jump up there. Okay, go... Boom! Oh, we did it! Nice. Oh, we're at the final... the boss. See, it would have been good to, um... Oh my god, bullets everywhere. It would have been good to... What?! To die until we had two lives before I got to the boss, because now once we die, our health bar is gonna go back down, and we only have one life. So like... You know. It's always better to have more lives than fewer lives. Who do I want to be here? Oh my god, not that guy. Just got lasered to the face. All right, we're gonna have to figure out one more boss pattern. I want to be the kid here. I think the kid will have the best shot here. Yeah, look at this. So the missiles can't really hit me. I just kind of got to watch out when he comes down to do his laser beam attack. Duck. Okay, and now, oh, he's gonna land right here, isn't he? Okay, now maybe the missiles can get me. No. Okay. Now, and duck. All right, easy. And down he goes. All right, well, we got a pattern here. Oh my god, wait, what killed me? He touched me, didn't he? Touching bosses and dying to them, insane. Okay, ow. 
think there's a way, a way, a place to stand where the missiles can't really get you. There we go. Okay, off he goes. Standing here worked out okay the last time. You know what you want to do is you want to stand as close to the edge of the screen as possible so his missiles go off the screen. That is the secret to this guy. So I actually want to be all the way over here. Yeah. These missiles that he's firing to the right of me, once they go off the screen, they don't zoom back and get me from behind. And that's the secret. I mean, it might, it might or might not be the secret to fighting this guy. The secret that I've deduced so far. See, now we want to kind of be over here. Oh, I thought we done. <laughs> my head got squashed under his claw. <laughs> All right, well, my strategy kind of works. The strategy in process. I'm trying to actually not take damage from him. Oh, God. I got too greedy there with getting hits in on him. All right, we can go through a couple of cycles without taking any damage, and then we'll have to uh, puff it out and see what happens. Boom. Boom, boom. All right, we're doing pretty good. All right, and duck. You okay, now stay here. It's fine. It's actually safer than being on the other side, believe it or not, even though it doesn't look it. Ow. You have to be careful with your timings for these jumps. Ow. Okay, we took two hits. Now you want to be on this side. There we go. This side is pretty safe, I think. Ow. You do kind of have to jump over these missiles to the left that get fired. Duck. Okay, now this time I guess I'll just stay here and see what happens. See, now his missiles to the right are gonna, like, loop back and get me. I'm taking way more damage now. Ah, oh, damn it! Ah. <laughs> Why is it a good strategy to fight this guy? Maybe this laser guy is not as good as I think. Maybe I should try a different character. The guy who shoots in all directions might be good on this guy, actually. Oh shoot, I went to the wrong side. Um, do I want a different character? Okay, let's... Let's try a different character here. I don't know if Bucky's gonna be any better at this guy. He can't be worse. Oh, God damn it! I hate when you jump and you touch the boss and you die. Uh, all right, Bucky. Let's see if you can do it, man. Go, 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 Bucky. Go, 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 Bucky. Duck. Hmm. I maybe should not have moved, actually, there. Man, I got, like, no hits on him that round. But he barely hit me. No. It's like you can either fight the boss or fight his missiles, but it is hard to do both. Hmm. Maybe I should, like, stand to the far edge of the screen. Where the missile's off screen? No, that doesn't help anything. Too close to the boss, I'm gonna touch him and die. Hmm. Maybe on these rounds, I should just focus on survival. Like, where he's far from the screen, I should just... Try and not die. And then over here... Now I don't have to worry about the missiles because they're all going to go off screen. Yeah. Hmm. 
there's kind of like two cycles to him. Some where you can attack him, and others where you really shouldn't. You need to worry more about the missiles. You fight the missiles. We're actually in a pretty good groove here. I'm not hitting him as much as I would like, but uh, I should have stayed to the right of him. Now I gotta fight the missiles. Yeah, he's pretty good though. Done some damage to him. Alright, Toad Man. We'll show us what you got. This will be a good one. I think his missiles are just gonna all go off screen. I don't have to fight him. Yeah. Kill. Kill the missiles. Stay ducked. Okay. Kill. Kill the missiles. Yeah, Bucky is the best character for this. You want you want to be able to fire fast and frequent. That's how you kill all these missiles and avoid uh, taking damage. The kid is just not up to the challenge. I don't know if his laser is more powerful ultimately, but uh, it's not it's not frequent enough to kill these missiles. In fact, you don't even need to shoot most of these missiles. Oh, Bucky can even shoot when he's ducking. Oh, that's the time when you sort of get the damage in on him. Yeah, so he's not even hitting us anymore as I take some damage. All these missiles. Big duck. Let him have it. Oh, that's where you're getting the money shots. Take all these missiles. All these missiles. So the first three missiles you can let go by. It's the last three that you don't want to let go by. Go, go. Man, this guy has so much health. Okay, here, this will be a safe one. Oh, we just killed this thingy. Now what? Now what? <laughs> oh, what do we kill now? Oh, we kill him! Oh my god. I can't even hit him. Okay, well, let's think about which character we want to use now. Uh... God, oh my god, we're taking damage. Oh no. Um... Oh my god, we're, we're, we're gonna be able to hit him. But his missiles are gonna finish us off. We're about to die. Oh no. Oh no. No! Damn it. Man, look at this. Look at this stuff. You just stand here and hit this guy, although we are getting hit by his missiles. Oh, God. Stupid missiles. Oh, my God. His gun landed on my head and killed me. Let's see if her power ball actually does something. Can't charge it fast enough because of the stupid missiles. Oh, God, and she's dead. Uh, so you really just have to play as Bucky on this last level and, like, do it. I mean, the only other character who's kind of viable is the, uh, you know, the dude who shoots in all directions, but I don't know, guys. I think I'm Bucky'd out. I know we made it far, but I don't even know if this is the last level, to be honest. Considering it's Mega Man-like nature, I would suspect this might be one of many final bosses. And, like, I, I have it in me to go through the missile stage again, but then I ultimately have no idea how to actually do enough damage to his head. Could you just stand in here? Oh, wait! Oh, my God! Hold on, you can just... Wait! <laughs> wait! <laughs> wait! Oh, my God, this is so cheap! Oh, but am I just dead when he comes down? Hold on, his missiles can't even get me in here. Oh god, oh god. And you're dead! <laughs> so you can get in there, you can do some crazy damage to him, but you better kill him. Because if you don't kill him, you're dead. Okay, I'm trying to turbo it up. Turbo, 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 turbo. This is hilarious. If only you could actually kill him from in here, but then he kills you, and you're dead. All right, well, we have gotten as far as we can in Bucky O'Hare here. Bucky O'Hare, a classic Konami game for the NES. Hard 
it's interesting to call a game with infinite continues hard, but, and also you have a health bar. But I will say there's two things about this game that make it insanely difficult. One, actually no, it's one thing. The one hit deaths. You have a, you have a health bar, but there's way too many one hit deaths. Touching a boss, and oh, why am I standing here? I'm screwed. Touching a boss and um, touching spikes, instant death. I kind of feel like I wish the health bar mattered more. Um, only a handful of times in this game have I died from lack of health. That sucks. It's such a tease to be able to get in there and then not be able to use it. Anyway, I still had fun with this game. Um, definitely, you know, uh, this is the kind of game that certainly can be beaten. And like this boss here, you know, like I figured out within half an hour, 15 minutes, how to actually uh, beat him. Well, actually get through his first cycle. How to damage him on top, I'm not sure, but it's like, this is the kind of discovery and learning that occurs in NES games. You have to fight bosses for hours and slowly figure out their secrets, and eventually he would have told me his, but man, I think I'm just buckied out for the, for the day. So anyway, I hope you guys had fun here today, um, and I'm kind of curious for anyone who actually uh, knows this game, who grew up playing it, uh, what kind of fond memories and stuff you have of it. Did you ever get this far? Did you ever beat this guy? Do you have any secrets or tips for how to actually beat this guy? Are there more levels after this? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below all your tips, tricks, hints, and, and memories, and nostalgia, and anything else you want to share about Bucky O'Hare here. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, I had fun with this one, I think, despite, despite my, my, I have a few gripes with it, um, and also I feel like, uh, you know, the one hit kills, man, just brutal. Anyway, guys, I hope you did have fun here today, and I will catch you in the next video. So until next time, my friends, you'll take care of yourselves, and peace. You bastards! Oh, oh, God! Oh, you sons of bitches! Oh, no, no! Oh, God! Let me live!